know that you can do it. I yeah. remember Googling like stand up comedian and then um, girl, because people <laughs> were like telling me you should be a comic. And I was like, I don't know even how to do that. And I remember seeing Sarah Silverman and that was the moment that I was like, okay, not only can we do this, yeah. You can be the best as a woman. Yeah. My first joke was filthy and it bombed. And then hearing. <laughs> you had to hear ah, it on your phone. Oh my God. <laughs> hearing Jim Norton come back. Like, oh. I'm a big black woman, so they expect a certain amount of sass. And I'm blah, blah, blah. And then I'm going up talking about like depression and suicide. And you can be uncomfortable. And yes, these are probably not the opinions that you think would come out of a black woman's mouth because we're all like we're supposed to be saving society and wet nurses for white babies. But <laughs> part of what comedy and joking has to do is like, we have to be able to cut through the tension. How we work. If you're a real comedian, you're gonna make shit funny. It's like beavers make dams. Like they don't know how to not make dams. When our house burned down, I talked about that. And yeah. I mean, that was kind of a tough part of, you know, our life. He was like, uh, okay, well I gotta go on stage. And that's the thing I like about comedy is not that it can happen all the time, but it really can save you and really be cathartic, right? And you can talk out that process. This is Wendy. Starlight. This is her rape this joke. Is her, yeah, rape joke. No, I guess I should have women's uh, safety. They don't. Every chick in here knows if you go outside and someone's following you and you think you're getting raped, you don't yell rape. What do you yell? Fire. Fire. How, how old are you? 22 year old girl, no seal, fire, not rape. Good job, America. Um, <laughs> but it's true, because they're like, you're like, rape, and they're like, wear a longer shirt, I gotta work in the morning. You yell fire, people are dressing out the door, like, oh, my stuff. <laughs> That's all I care about. So you're taking something giant and making it very small and silly, because now we're supposed to laugh at it. Comedy, not always, but a lot of times, comedy takes a big idea and breaks it down into something meaningless, a joke, and, and makes it insignificant.